morning, everybody. A nice cool morning down to 59 degrees. However, the humidity is on the rise. And since our dew point is only one degree away, we were watching to see if any fog develops. Uh, that means we're quite humid up at 96%. Yesterday's high temperature did manage to get all the way up uh, to 89. Of course, that's still above the average temperature of 85. And of course, the winds were fairly light until the afternoon when they started picking up. I guess if you if you went to the carnival, I guess you're not awake, right? You know, they were at the carnival, so you're still asleep. Never mind. Anyway, uh, we are looking at to see if any fog develops. Right now, we're so far so good. Oh, no, here it is. There it is, Robstown, one mile visibility. The fog is developing at this hour, 10 miles at the airport for us and also at Naval Air Station, so that's good. But let's just say that we're going to be in the next hour or so looking for the development of more fog. Well, temperature is finally turning the corner and becoming more summer-like. We're looking for 90s over much of Texas or upper 80s to 90 degrees. In fact, the 90s will go all the way up to the central plains. Now, it's up here in the 60s in North Dakota, but that's, uh, that's way up there. And uh, finally, it looks like springtime is really uh, pretty much over with. We've got high clouds coming in from the northwest. And as we talked yesterday about a northwest flow. In other words, the winds aloft. And when we say aloft, let's just assume that where the airplanes are flying. Uh, those winds are going in this direction, which keeps the upper air dry. Now we're picking up low level winds down here uh, at the surface, and that's gonna increase the humidity, but low level humidity, upper air dryness, doesn't give you anything in terms of rainfall. Got a little system here, but it's riding over the ridge of high pressure that is in control of all of the Southwest and in places like Arizona, well, they'll be up to almost 100 degrees today, so they're really looking at uh, hello summertime. Fair weather on the East Coast. Uh, this storm not going to make it, and there's a long way before that next storm to see if it even gets into our region. Here's the high pressure that's giving us that northwest flow. That's why we're generally dry. You can see the brown. Um, that means dry air over our area and a little bit of cloud cover up north. Because of that cloud cover, there may be some generalized thunderstorms in the Panhandle and far west Texas. That's the severe weather outlook, so there's no real severe weather expected in the state. So, as high pressure is over us, we get that northwest wind. Uh, the little frontal system you see right about here sort of skirts the northern uh, portion of the state and then just goes away and doesn't become a factor. As far as we're concerned, we're going to be seeing an increase in the return Gulf moisture and the Gulf wind as well. So we're going to be seeing a sunny day, not bad at all, still pretty good. But by the time we get to Wednesday, we'll be partly cloudy. You'll see morning clouds. Then you'll feel the humidity by Thursday. The southeast winds kick in, and that's uh, our pattern all the way into Saturday. So not bad, no significant rain, a sprinkle or two possible Sunday, Monday. We'll certainly be watching that right here every morning. We'll be back with more Sunrise coming up right after this.